What you need to do at this point is to stare at the dot in the centre of the photo and keep staring at the dot. Don't move your eyes, keep staring at the dot. The photo is uh, strangely coloured, that's all to do with the demo, so just keep staring at the dot. And in about 20 seconds time or so, the photo is going to be replaced by a black and white version. But you're going to probably see some colour in that photo. So keep staring at the dot. That's good. Don't move. Keep staring. There we go. If you move your eyes quickly off to the side and then back to the dot, you should see the black and white photo. And then the colour should reappear when you get back to the black dot. Probably starting to fade now. You're all probably familiar with the idea that a TV screen makes colours using red, green and blue pixels at each point. Each colour we see is a particular mixture of these colours. Our eyes aren't TV screens of course, but they do contain three types of colour sensitive receptors known as cones. One sensitive to red wavelengths of light, one green and one blue. So the way the brain sees different colours is by looking at the relative activity across three types of cones. So, when you stared at the strangely coloured building, you are in fact tiring out or fatiguing the three types of cones in different ways across the photo. The area of grass was painted mauve for instance, and this fatigued the red and blue cones that have a view of the grass more than the green cones. When we now replace the strange photo with a black and white photo, we are in fact seeing colour created by different levels of fatigue in each of the cones. The brain only knows about different colours by looking at relative activity across the three types of cone. Remember I said if you moved your eyes when looking at the black and white photo, the colour after image disappears? Well this is interesting because this tells us that the structure of the scene you use to see the after image must be similar to the structure of the scene you use to tire the cones out with. Any old building won't do. And the same building placed in different positions on the rest of it won't do either. This may explain why we don't see colour after images all the time. Because our eyes are continually moving around.